small human touches like handshakes, hugs and kisses hello, a welcome hand on your shoulder, really keep us afloat in many ways. We barely notice them in daily life, but once they disappear, like in a global pandemic, we really miss them. The New York Times recently published an article on one of the most comprehensive reviews ever done of studies on touch. The review of 137 studies with about 13,000 participants altogether confirmed what the pandemic taught us about touch. It lowers stress and boosts mood in ways that are very beneficial to our health. Not surprisingly, humanity's evolved nest includes daily positive physical touch throughout our lives, and this can look different in every culture and corner of the world. In many parts of the world, holding hands or linking arms while walking is common between friends, even those of the same sex. In the Middle East, Latin America, and Europe, people often kiss each other two to four times on the cheek to greet each other. And as an Arab, trust me, you will awkwardly miscalculate the number of kisses that a lipstick auntie is going to go for, and that's just part of the process. It's fine. My point is, in many parts of the world, physical touch is not strictly romantic or reserved for intimate relationships or private rooms. Touch acceptability is culturally relative, so in high-touch cultures, it's often expected. But consent is always key, of course, especially in low-touch cultures. Research suggests that the positive health effects of touch may only materialize when we're actually enjoying the experience. But if you have consent and the appropriate cultural context clues, do not be afraid to offer a hug to a friend in need or to give a colleague a warm handshake. Take a few minutes today to reflect on what forms of positive touch convey warmth, love, joy, and friendship to you.